you want to add audio and video calling to your iOS apps, CallKit makes the process easy and seamless. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use CallKit to integrate outgoing calls, incoming calls, and how to add a custom ringtone to UIKit and Swift UI VoIP apps. I have divided this tutorial into five different sections. We will begin with an overview of the CallKit architecture. I will show you how to send outgoing calls. We will dive into receiving incoming calls and how to add a custom ringtone to the application. All this will be done using a UIKit app. Eventually, I will show you how to use the same CallKit classes for a SwiftUI app by creating an outgoing call screen. So let's dive into the world of using CallKit for audio and video calling in iOS. In this tutorial, you would create a demo app that can make and receive five calls. You can download the finished project from this GitHub repository. There are two versions of the CallKit tutorial. We have CallKit SwiftUI and CallKit iOS. So you can download these two projects to follow along with the tutorial. If you are thinking of building your own video app, you can check and get an early access of our new video service before it launches. Let's explore what you will build in this project. After completing this project, you will have an incoming call screen that shows in the dynamic island. By tapping the incoming call screen from the dynamic island, it shows the full screen UI of the incoming call screen. So here we can perform some actions such as accepting the call or declining the call. If we accept the call and go back to the dynamic island, you can see this is an active call. We also have some call controls, such as changing the volume input or just canceling the call. The next is the outgoing call screen, which also shows in the dynamic island. The call gets connected within some few seconds. There is a volume control for changing the input. We can also end the call. So this is what you will build in this tutorial. CallKit lets users make and receive calls with VoIP apps using the iPhone's phone app interface on iOS. If you want to add CallKit support for your iOS project, you should import the framework and implement its classes and object to handle incoming calls, outgoing calls, and active calls. The phone screen on the left is from the native iOS phone app. Looking at the one in the middle, you can see it is WhatsApp. And the one on the right is the demo app we will build in this tutorial. Looking at all the three screens, you can see they look similar and familiar. Thanks to CallKit, it provides the same UI and controls for third-party apps. So the web app you build with CallKit integration will look familiar to the phone's app on iOS. Let's look at some key features of CallKit. When you integrate CallKit with your app, it shows user notification on the lock screen. During an incoming call, you get the full screen UI. It also shows the UI in the dynamic island if you use iPhone 14 Pro or 14 Pro Max. During an active call, you get the rich and native iOS controls. CallKit has a ringtone support. You can also manage calls from the calls reference category. Over there, you can perform actions such as do not disturb. You can block a user or share contact. When working with CallKit, these are the main classes CallKit uses for its operations. We have CX Provider and CX Call Controller. The CX Provider class handles non-user actions and out-of-bound notifications like incoming calls. It also keeps records of connected, ended, and rejected calls. The CX Call Controller class informs the system about all local notifications the user performs. For example, this class handles user requests, such as initiating an outgoing call, answering a call, or ending a call. So these are the two main classes you will deal with when integrating CallKit with your app. Let's create a new project in Xcode and start integrating CallKit. For the platform, choose iOS and 
Under Application, choose App, then Next. You should name the project and leave the interface as Storyboard and the language as Swift. Then click Next and create the new project. I have already created one, so I will cancel this project. So this is our new project with the main files App Delegate, Scene Delegate, and View Controller. We will do all the call kit integration in View Controller. Let's begin with an incoming call. During an incoming call, the demo app will create a CX call update. A CX provider class will send the call update to the system for publication to the user. The user will then see the result as an incoming call interface that is demonstrated in this diagram. When the user accepts the call by tapping the accept button, it triggers an answer action and sends it to the system. The system then uses CX answer call to inform the CX provider class about the answer and connects the call. To receive an incoming call, open viewcontroller.swift and add call kit import. So here we add the class viewcontroller that conforms to UI viewcontroller and CX provider delegate protocols. We will perform all the call kit integration in the function view did load. So in the closure of the view did load method, let's create an incoming call update object. This object stores different type of information about the call. For example, we can use it to set whether the call has a video or not. So let's put let update equals CX call update. Next, using the CX call update object we just created, we should specify the type of information about the caller during an incoming call. There are different types of information available. So let's paste this code. When I remove the generic type and put a period, you can see we have different types. We can use an email address or phone number for the generic type. So during an incoming call, this will be displayed for the user. The next thing we should do is to create and set configurations about how the calling application should behave. So we create a config object and use it to set whether we want the call to appear in the call recents or not, and whether the call supports video or not. Then we should create a provider instance and set its delegate. When a user initiates a call, the other user gets to know about the call through notification. When using call kit, you do not need to rely on displaying incoming calls using the local notification API because call kit handles that automatically. To be able to display the full screen incoming call UI, we must use the method report incoming call. This contains UUID, which helps to identify the user using a random identifier. We should also provide a CX call update, which comprises of metadata information about the incoming call. Then we can check for errors to see if everything works fine. Next, what happens when the user accepts the call? We should implement this provider function and call the fulfilled method to check whether the call is successful. Finally, what happens when the user taps the reject button? When users tap the reject button, their intention is to cancel the call. So here we should call the fail method. This fail method will check the call based on the UUID and we want to integrate call kit with your app. Apple requires you to set the required background mode. There are several of them here, but we need only one for this app. Under the required background modes, we need to set the option app provides voice over IP services. This can be done in the info.plist file. I have already done this. So when I open the project again and click this folder, under the info tab, we go to the section required background modes. You can see here we have the item zero. 
The type is a string, and its value is set to app provides VoIP over IP services. If you do not set this option, you will not see the incoming call or the outgoing call screen. So this is all we need to implement a basic incoming call screen using CallKit. Let's run the app to see what we have done so far. So we have an incoming call screen which displays in the dynamic island with a ringtone from the user's settings. Tapping it from the dynamic island shows the full screen mode. We can accept the call or reject the call. So this basically uses the ringtone already set on my phone. Later in this video, I'll show you how to set a custom ringtone. Now, let's move on to how to create an outgoing call screen using CallKit. We will use the same view controller file and the view did load method to create the outgoing call screen. So let's put a comment here. When the user taps the start call button during an outgoing call to initiate a call, our demo app will receive a start call intent and create an action for the call. The CX controller class sends the call action to the system. The start call action you see here has a UUID that helps to identify the call uniquely. When the start action is created, the system takes it to the CX provider object. When the CX provider object receives and approves the CX start call action, the app presents the native outgoing call UI to the user. So to establish a basic call functionality for the app, we should implement everything in view did load as we did previously. Let's begin with the provider configuration. Then we need to create a start call action and configure it with UUID and the user's handle. The handle parameter is a string that represents the recipient. So let's paste this code here. Now we need to add the implementation that identifies the call. So I will paste this code here. The UUID helps to identify the call uniquely. We can use email, phone number, or a name to specify the recipient. The transaction is responsible for placing one of the calls on hold when there are multiple calls. Next, we should add a call request. During an outgoing call, the app must request a CX call action from the CX call controller as a transaction. As I said earlier, the transaction object helps to hold a call when multiple calls are attempting to occur at the same time. In addition, we should provide errors to send appropriate messages when something goes wrong. For example, we can check for bad connectivity during an outgoing call. This is all we need to do to establish a basic outgoing call using CallKit. Let's compile the app to see what we have. So we now have the outgoing call screen showing in the dynamic island. It has the volume control to change the input or we can cancel the call. In this section, we will look at how to add a custom ringtone to the application. The sound used for the ringtone is obtained from epidemic sound. So let's begin. To change the system ringtone, we are going to use the incoming call implementation. So let's put a comment here and on comment the incoming call. We are going to use the call kits configuration object we defined here. The configuration object provides easy ways to customize audio and video calling. We can use it to swap the call icon change the call mode or use a custom ringtone. To add a custom ringtone, we should add the sound to the project bundle. I would go to my desktop and drag a sound to the project bundle. I have already added this sound, so I'm not going to finish this process. When adding the sound, make sure you have all these options checked. You should check the destination copy items if needed, then create folder references, and finally, add to targets checked. So this is the same sound I tried to add. 
After adding the sound to the project bundle, you should use the configuration object to swap the system provider one with the newly added sound. So let's copy the name of the sound here. All we need to do here is to put config dot ringtone sound and set it as a string. If we compile the app again, you can now see we get a different ringtone for the app. At this point, you have seen how to receive and send calls with CallKit for a UIKit app. Let's use the same CallKit classes by creating an outgoing call screen for a SwiftUI app. Let's create a new SwiftUI app. We will leave the platform as iOS. And then under application, we will choose app. Next, let's call this stream call SwiftUI and change the interface to SwiftUI and leave the language as Swift. Then next, I'm going to save this to my desktop and create. Let's change content view to outgoing call view and select everything and replace this content with this code. You can see from this code, this is just a UI kit wrapper for SwiftUI. It has the same call kit classes we used previously for the outgoing call screen. Let's select the SwiftUI app and change it from content view to pick the outgoing call view. Then we can compile the app on the iPhone. After running the app, you can see we get a blank screen. That is expected because we need to set the background mode. So we can go to the info.plist file or we go to the info tab of the app and set the required background mode as app provides VoIP over IP services. I will select the app folder and go to the info tab. We can hover on the last one and click the plus icon to add a new one. We should go through the list and select required background mode. We have required background mode for watch, but make sure you select the first one. By selecting the item, we can set it to app provides VoIP over IP services. So now if we run the app again, we are supposed to see the outgoing call screen. And that displays the outgoing call screen for the SwiftUI app in the dynamic island. If you want to integrate video with your app, we are building a solution for you. So I encourage you to check our website and get an early access today. To recap, in this tutorial, you learned about the overview of the call kit architecture. I showed you how to receive an incoming call. We dived into sending outgoing calls and how to add a custom ringtone to the application for a UI kit app. Not only that, we look into how to use the same call kit classes for creating an outgoing call screen for a SwiftUI app. With the knowledge you obtained from this tutorial, I believe you can now go ahead and start using call kit today for your next iOS audio and video calling apps. Thanks for watching this video.